Hello, my name is David Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. We're here in the Floyd, Virginia community amateur radio station, N4USA. Today we want to talk about a homemade tuner made by amateur radio operator, a very old timer who's now been a silent key for a long time, W4KQD, made this antenna tuner. And you've seen one other video of his tuners uh, in our selection here too with the clear case. But this is a very heavy duty, probably would handle three or four kilowatts of power. It's a antenna tuner that we would say is built like a brick outhouse. It's very heavy, very well built. And uh, we're going to take a look at the controls on the front panel and look at what he has on the back panel. But this is a really good example of a very heavy duty antenna tuner, probably built in 1940 to 50. Uh, he was licensed in the 30s. He may have even built this back in the 1930s. It's possible. So let's take a look uh, at the uh, front panel and the back panel and we'll take a look inside as well. Let's take a close look at the controls on this very heavy duty antenna tuner built by W4KQD. This of course is the one capacitor for the T network tuning. Over on this side we also have a calibrated scale for the other capacitor and a very heavy duty turn counter to calibrate or keep track of the turns on the rotary inductor. This is an extremely heavy duty piece of equipment. So let's uh, go around behind, take a look and see what the output looks like, and then we're going to go inside and look at the components. If you like heavy duty components, you'll like the looks of the inside of this T tuner built by KQD. Or if you like heavy duty tuners, you'll like the looks of this home built tuner built by W4 KQD about 65 years ago. Very simple. Here's the input connector coming to the input capacitor. The input capacitor going over here to the, well, actually, you see the wire going over here to the rotary inductor. And our rotary inductor has some very heavy duty contacts, rolling contacts, for a very good RF connection. And you see the wire here going over to the output capacitor and the output capacitor being tied to both the long wire and the coax connector on the back side. So basically you have the two capacitors, the inductor, an input connection, an output connection, and ground. And this is a T tuner. This tuner would easily handle uh, several kilowatts and it may handle a good bit more than that. And it's well shielded with very heavy aluminum.